And now I have Sam Spooner sat in front of me. He managed to crawl his way up the <laughs> up to the studio. How are you feeling, Sam? A bit stiff, a bit old. <laughs> a bit... I'm still getting there. And that was with a proper cool down, you tell me. Tried. <laughs> okay, so let's talk hockey. So in the men's prem, uh, any any surprising results today? Um, no real surprises. I'm surprised that Vikings A didn't score more past Ramsey A. Um, back as they didn't score more past Saracens A. But I, there is no real surprise in terms of results. Um, if you start with back as B, Valkai as A, um, I haven't got the back as B goal scorer as yet. Um, but the Valkyrie A goal scorer is Robin Masson with four. I think it's the first time he's scored a hat trick this season. Um, you normally bank on him to have one by now. Stephen Cotier, Greg Miller, Luis Novo Smith, all with one goal each. Valkyrie A, you know, they're, they're back as A's closest challengers at the minute. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a good result for Valkyrie A. It keeps him in pace with uh, back as A above him. Uh, Saracens A, back as A. And I have to say, I watched the, the second half of this game and Andy Jockin and Netta Saracens A made some absolutely stunning saves. Um, so I, may, I saw him watch them score. I saw him save two, three, four in a row consistently the whole the whole second half. And you could see back as A getting a little bit frustrated with it in the end. Uh, Andy Whiting with a hat trick, Tony Bentley Roberts with one and Alex Lace with one as well. And then we have, well, I start it as the game of the day to watch Vikings A versus Ramsey A. Looked like it was a pretty cruisy day at the office for for Vikings. Yeah, I mean, I don't know when Nat Smith got back to uh, the island or how long he's been back for, but since he's been back in that Ramsey A side, he's made a big difference to that side, especially going forward. Um, and you can see that. He scored last week, he scored this week. Vikings A, they really need to rebuild, really needed a result here to rebuild um, after you know two disappointing results against Valkyrie and Backers A. And they've done that now. They can build on that, get their head straight and move on for the rest of the season. Tim Henderson with two for Vikings A and John Cooper and Nat Smith for Ramsey A. And Vikings B taking no prisoners. They beat Harlequins A 9-0. Yeah, and uh, I think Harlequins will be a little bit disappointed. But when you look at the standard of players that they've got and that's, that they had in that Vikings B squad today, that does put them in the top four. Guarantees them a top four finish. Andy Harding with two, Eddie Cayley with two, Nathan Evans with two, Tom Burrows with two, and John Verrill. And uh, Tom Burrows nominated for Man of the Match. Moving on to the Women's Prem, an exciting game between Valkyries B and Backers A that finished at two apiece. And I have to say, massive kudos to Valkyries B. Um, I did say that, you know, you, you, you've you got this coming. They, they need to, to get a point out of this and just show everybody else that's doubted them this season, which they have, they have had doubters. I'm not one of them, I have to say. Just get that in there Just now. Just put that in there, yeah, on, um, on the record. They were 2-0 down, and they fought in the first half. They fought back in the second half to uh, level a game at 2-all. They've shown that they can compete at this level. They've shown they can beat the likes of Backers A, who are in the top four the top four at the minute. And, uh, yeah, really well done to Val- Valkyries B. Uh, Florence Barber and Becky Corkish on the score sheet for Valkyries B. And Backers A was Rose Watkins and seems to be on the score sheet every week, Sophie Howland. She is on the score. I had Jane Howland uh, message me. Jane has become my own personal hockey correspondent. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't reply to you earlier, Jane. It was a bit of a rush. Um, but, yeah, Sophie How- Howland, like basically the Sophie Howland show. Um, and then... Probably what you would expect in the top versus bottom match between Vikings A versus Harlequins. Vikings A won 16 0. Yeah, 6 0 at half time. And, uh, you know, Harlequins are still going, they're still pushing, you know, regardless of the results that go against them. And, you know, it was, although it was a bit of a cricket score, um, you know, they need to hold their heads up and, and really look and be proud of themselves as well. They haven't stopped, they, they consistently get a team out every week as well. Uh, goal scorers of Vikings A, Mia Greenwood with four. Sarah Blackman with three, Kim Carney with three, Daisy Loader with three, Sophie Hall with two, and Laura Atkinson with one. And uh, it looked like Ramsey held their own against Castletown A. Castletown A sat third in the table and Ramsey sat at sixth. And uh, Castletown only, only won by one goal, 3-2. Yeah, and it looks like Ramsey have got a little bit better this week. Um, and you know what, I've, they have improved from their early season form and it continues to get better. Joe Quine and Amy Swift on the score sheet for Ramsey. Cast Town A, Danny Kelly with two, and Hannah Lees, who I've had some really good reports about her uh, today, and she she ran the game for Cast Town A in the middle of the park there and just did not stop, a bit like a Duracell bunny. <laughs> and then finally in the women's prem, we've got Saracens nil, Valkyries A 17. Yeah, 5 0 first half, 17 0 full time score. Uh, Rachel Lucas with five, Imogen Manning with four, Tamsin Cleverly with two, Sienna Dunn with two. Danny Betteridge with one. 
and uh, Jess Loader. So there's two Loader sisters today with three. So both of them scored hat-tricks. Sister power, wow. Um, moving on to the men's division one, we've got Backers Colts three, Saracens B two. And uh, I believe Saracens were a few players down during this game. Yeah, so I believe they started with eight and ended with ten. So that's a great, great performance for uh, Saracens B. It just shows that you know if they can get a team down every week that they will be they would be fighting for that top four. Uh, Backers Colts goal, goal scorers just reads like a, a list of players of old that have still got it. Tim Leeming, Peter Vernon Brown, and the, the slightly younger Andy Neal. And uh, Saracens B was Steve Jackson. And I've heard really good reports, and forgive me for pronouncing his name wrong, James Caracas. A great goalkeeping performance from him today. Really held the Backers Colts team at bay. And next up is your game, Vikings C2, Castletown A3. It was really, really good game to be in. Um, you were a bit nervy about this yesterday. I was. I thought we were going to get a thumping, but you, you know what? The Vikings see to turn around and punch above their weight week in, week out. 2 0 down and brought it back to 2 all at half time. Complete reset at half time. And Castanay did really, really well to get that early goal in the, first, in the second half. Um, but Vikings see just couldn't quite overcome the experience of uh, A, Castanay's front three and their finishing skills and uh, the experience of their back three as well, um, back three or four. And it was just one of those things they experienced told for Castane, and they go up into second place. Then we have also in men's division one, Castletown B5, back is C0. Uh, this one's a, a really good, a really important game for me, really, because uh, Adam Parker, um, who I was speaking to, who we played against last week, his, his son, Joey McGee, was on the sidelines watching the game, and I... I'm going to claim credit for this one, but I sat there badgering him. When are you going to start playing hockey? When are you going to play hockey with your dad? Well, this week, he stepped on the pitch for Castown B on his Manx hockey debut, scored and assisted his own dad in a goal as well. So big shout out Living to Joe McGee. Really happy for you, and I'm sure your dad's really proud of you as well. Uh, Joe Shuttleworth, Jeff Butler and Paul Harris on the score sheet there for Castown B. And then finally, we have Ramsey B, nil, Valkyries B, seven. Yeah, and that's uh, that was an expected result, really. That's... Uh, Valkyries B now still four points uh, clear at the top of the table. Um, sorry, they've increased their lead from three to four points at the top of the table now. And uh, you've got to bank on them winning the league. And uh, yeah, Ramsey B looks like they gave a really good account of themselves this week because uh, Valkyries B have had some big scores this year. Moving on to women's Div 1 and all the BBCs, we've got Backers C nil, Castletown B 1. Yeah, Katie Nicholson, with uh, from what I've heard, is a top corner screamer. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but well done, Katie Nicholson. Uh, Cast B getting the win there, putting them on eight points. And we have top versus bottom. That was Ramsey B versus Backers B. Backers B won that 5 0. Yeah, and that puts uh, Backers B on 10 points. And uh, Backers B goal scores are Sam Franklin, Georgia Sullivan, Anne Harrison, Isabella Craig, and Charlotte Fisher. Keeps it tight at the top of the table there, though. And then finishing off, we've got interclub game Vikings B 6, Vikings C 0. Yeah, and again, Vikings B, 10 points now, level with Backers B at the top of the table. Backers B, goal difference 23, Vikings women's B, 22. Uh, neither go- neither team had a goalkeeper here today. Um, oh, right. They struggled to find a goalkeeper, and uh, it wasn't until everybody realised that there was somebody at the pitch that could and would be willing to play in nets, but they had no goalkeeper's kit. So both teams played with 11 outfield players, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, Vikings C, really good account of themselves. I expected more, to be fair, from uh, from Vikings B. I thought they would, might score more against uh, their own C team, but like I said, Vikings C weren't going to let them have it easy. Jess Birch, Jenny Burnham Brown, Ava Melnick, and Millie Dougie with all with one goal, and Charlie Millwood with two. And I've had a couple of texts in from the under 16s mixed, and so we had Backers one, Harlequins nine, and Will Wiseman scored for Backers. Yes, I've also had Vikings under 16s eight, uh, Valkyries under 16s nil. Uh, Becca Kelly, Kira Griffiths, Jacob Harding, Kyle Gunyan, Ben Google, Ben Dougal, Cameron Room, and his twin and Ben Dougal's twin brother Josh Dougal, all with their single goals. Spot on. Well, very well done to everyone who was competing today in those treacherous conditions. And uh, Sam Spoon, I think you've earned yourself a massage, an ice bath. I don't know something. All of it. I'll just hear you. T- <laughs> just hear you tumbling down the stairs as you leave the studio. That's right. I'll shuffle down on my bum. <laughs> Thank you very Cheers. much, Sam Spooner.